Hello, it's Ashton. And it is John. What is up, Sub Sandwiches? We are back again with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be watching Dylan and Stingray's trial by the channel Spiggin Hufter, I think. Spiggin Hufter. Oh, that's a unique Links one. down in the description, so if you enjoy the video, make sure you go and subscribe. Yes, very important to support the channels that you love. Suggestion from Jihan Ariatnam. Um, from Australian Soap Neighbor. Suggestion from Jihan Chad. Pull up that Chad name, huh? See how it is. Um, hope you don't slaughter that again. Well, to be fair, you were pretty close last time. I'm sure we did the same this time, though. Because I haven't been corrected yet. I don't know how to properly pronounce it. Jehan? Is it, is it, does it got the H sound instead of like Spanish? You can't just spell the word and expect us to understand how to right. say it. you got to uh, actually like break it down, you know? I get some Google translation on this. Um, anyway, though, man, thank you so much for the support. Do appreciate it. You guys can also help support the channel if you click on that link down below in the description and throw it on through Streamlabs. Gonna let you pick one of the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under ten minutes. Include the videos, link, title, your email. Let's get to this video. So what? It's a win for nothing, dude. We may as well have fronted up to the cops as soon as it happened. Like, hi, here we are. Here's the gun. Come on, how many years are we getting? Give shut us your up, best shot. I'll hear you, dude. I won't get a big sentence. Right, I'll be out in no time. One week in there and your head will be screwed for good. Me? The damage has already been done, hasn't it? After juvie, it's just natural progression. But you didn't do it. Every bloke inside says I didn't do it. I'm just one more. Oh, this is so not fair. <laughs> Grow up, Scott. Nothing is. Look. We've been through this. If we both go down, it's just mum and the girls. You think Brandon's coming home anytime soon? Or Dwayne? You know what mum's like. She needs a man to lean on. Otherwise, she flips out. What about Dad? Like I said, she needs a man to lean on. I am going to brain Janae, and as for your father... Mum, they'll be here soon. Oh, probably off down the coast. How are you feeling? Oh, what do you reckon? <laughs> Me too. Where's everyone else? Oh, who knows? Have to pack a torquee? Janae. Rats, that's what they are. Rats deserting a sinking ship. We're not sunk yet, Janelle, so just stay calm in there, all right? And, and don't yell at the judge. Until afterwards, anyway. Mum, they're here. All right, mate, I know where to go. It's just Mum and Bree. Who else do you expect, Tom and Katie? Just remember who you are, boys. You're Timmons as you hold your head high. You're better than everyone else here. I'm so confused, by Oh, this. about bloody time, Janae. Yeah, I know, all right. Boys, we love you. How are they? They look scared. Look, honey, I don't think you're up to today. I want you to go back home. Dad! You made it. Sky. Dylan Kim Timmons to the charge of armed robbery. How do you plead? He pleads not guilty. guilty. What? What did he say? Uh, he's confused. Off his nut is what he is. Order. Your Honour, Mr. Rebecca. I believe my client's misunderstood or misheard. He pleads not guilty. Is this correct? I heard right. I've changed my mind. So you're pleading guilty? I am. May I continue? Scott John Timmons to the charge of being accessory to armed robbery. How do you plead? He pleads not guilty, Your Honour. Mr. Timmons. Yep, not guilty. I was lying to cover up for my brother. What the hell are you playing at? Order! Mr. Rebecca, you sort this out before I return. Let me talk to Janelle. You. Don't you Janelle me. Just calm down, you're not helping anything, okay? I have a right to know what's going on. Just sit here with me. So, whose stroke of genius was this little plan? Change your mind, that's all. We both have it, it's our right. Can I ask why? It doesn't matter now, does it? Dylan, you know, you're pretty much guaranteed you're going to jail. Yep. It's not too late. I, I can talk to the judge. I can turn things around. We haven't got a hope, Jared. We never did. The cops always had a stitched up for this one, thanks to Rue. You could talk to you were blue in the face. It still wouldn't change the fact that we'd be going down. So, you're happy to go to jail for something that you didn't do? To get Scotty out of this, I can't say there's a choice. We're going to have to give the prosecution something on Scott, aren't we? Why? Because he said that he lied. They're going to go after him for an accessory after the fact, and they'll win. He will go to jail. What if he says he's guilty too? You suck up, we tell the new story, the judge goes easy on him in sympathy. Come on, Dylan, what do you think the chances are of that? Better than if we go to trial and the cops bury us, right? 
Are you okay with this? He'll be eaten alive in jail. He knows that. I'm just doing what Dylan tells me to do. But if you just tell the truth, there's every chance that I can get both of you out of jail. Please, hey, Jared, but even you don't believe that. My way, we give Scotty the best chance of going home tonight. What a now, let's try again, shall we? How are the cues pleading this time? Your Honour, Dylan Timmons retains his plea of guilty and Scott Timmons now also pleads guilty as an accessory to armed robbery. I ask the court to take into consideration Scott's age at the time of the incident and I plead for leniency. Mm, I see. I'll, I'll consider those circumstances. Now, both defendants are of course entitled to speak in their own defence. I also have some questions I'd like to put. Dylan Kim Timmons, you're first. And we're dying to hear it. So who exactly is this Rue? Oh, it's an old man of mine. He must be thrilled. I may ask why you, you previously implicated him? Well, I had to do something, didn't I? You know, throw the cops up the scent. I see. And how's your brother fit into this new scheme of things? Well, I was throwing the money around a bit and he got wise to me. To the fact that you'd acquired the money illegally? Yeah. And he then? And he said he'd dob. But he'd inform the police? Yeah. So I slapped him around a bit, told him if I went down, he'd go down too. When we got busted, I cooked up the idea of blaming Rue and blah, you know, the rest. So why change your plea so late in the day? You know these guys are tear them to pieces once they get them up on the stand. I figure we're better off coming clean, get a lighter sentence. You thought that, did you? Yeah. Sit down. Uh -oh. What's your story, young man? Is what your brother says true? Everything he said is true. I caught him with the money. He bashed me up and then threatened me. And how were these threats made? He um, got a drain pipe and started whacking it against a tree above my head. He said that's what he'd do to me if I told anyone. He kept on whacking the tree. I, I was just scared, that's all. <laughs> Poor baby. Let him finish. Then he got my neck in his hands and he started to squeeze. I couldn't breathe. I thought he was going to kill me. I should have. Order. I'll get you when I come home, little brother. I'm looking forward to it. I said order. He's always been violent. He's always hurt us, the whole family. You know, but this, this was the worst. Uh -huh. Is that all? Very well. I'll now retire to consider sentencing. This court will be in recess for 30 minutes. It's a lie, okay? All of it. What the hell are you two playing at? Order, I'll clear this court. What do you mean you lied? What we said first was the truth. All right, Rue made Dylan do it. He's innocent, so am I. You idiot! So you were coerced? Yeah, by Rue. Rue made us do everything. Reuben Houseman. Your Honour, can I have a short recess? Quiet. And where, my ask, do you fit into this picture? I was waiting in the car outside. So you were innocently sitting in the car, biding your time, while your brother robbed the service station. He's talking rubbish, Your Honour. He had to do it, all right? We made him. So if this story of coercion is true, one would expect you to report this matter immediately to police. Constable Parker, are you the investigating officer? Yes, Your Honour. Was such a report made? No report was made, Your Honour. Rue's mate had a knife. They said they'd hurt me if Dylan didn't do it. I mean, we couldn't report it, he'd just come after He's us. mental, Your Honour. He needs medication. I've heard enough. You've got to believe me. All right, we would never have done it if Rue hadn't forced us. I've heard enough. I'll now proceed to sentencing. Dismiss the jury. 30 minute recess. <laughs> now I'm. Justice is on your I'm ready to proceed to sentencing. My brother's Timmons. Well, you call yourself brothers. The only bond I see between you two is the one that passes blame without shame, without any shred of loyalty. I note that neither of you are new to breaking the law. Dylan, you have a history of theft and assault. And Scott, your record shows cases of theft, vandalism and indecent exposure. Hardly the material to inspire confidence. 
and I have been unable to find any mitigating facts or circumstances that encourage any leniency in regard to the charge of accessory to armed robbery. Therefore, Scott John Timmons, I sentence you to four years at Warrenal Correctional Facility for Adults with a two-year non-parole period. Dylan Kim Timmons, you will serve at the same facility and I sentence you to ten years with a four-year non-parole period. No! Take the prisoners into custody. background definitely not so i mean there's not like some crazy like opinions or anything on that or i don't know well right because we didn't have any connection to them so but still you kind of started to build one just through that little nine minute clip it's like if they really didn't do it that's not fair at all no definitely not you want to believe in the justice system maybe because as humans if we ever got put in that situation we'd want the same we but at least he tried to take the fall for his brother and then that guy Told them that they had no brotherly loyalty. It's like, eh, totally do. Uh, guys, leave comments down below about what you thought about that video. That was from the channel Spiggin Hufter. It looks like a good show based off that, but it looks yeah. like it was freaking filmed with 100 pixels. That 144p quality. Mm, was that Thank what God. it was? Yeah. Damn. Thank God we have evolved from that. Guys, catch you in the next video. Peace. Bye.